Welcome to Firefly Migration. In this presentation, I would like to show you a full-blown application that was migrated from Magic to .NET. The key points of this migration is to see that all existing functionality that existed in the original application is preserved throughout the migration. The user interface is identical once the application comes out of the migration, which has a very important value of no end user retraining. And once you're in .NET, you can leverage all the potential that exists in .NET to enhance your application and to take it to the next level. Let's see how it works. So we'll go ahead and have a look at this application, in, first of all, in Unipass. We see that this is a fairly big application with 3,700 programs, 800 models, 87 tables, but seven components. Uh, this is a huge HR and payroll application that was written by a South African company called CRS and is used all across Africa. Let's see how it works in Magic. So this is the CRS application in Magic. Now we switch over to Visual Studio 2012. And this is the application after which was migrated to .NET. We can see here in the Solution Explorer all the different files of that application. Let's run it. Now we can see the CRS application in .NET after a completely automatic migration. So this is how the application looks like in .NET. And this is the same application in Magic. Let's go in and look, have a deeper look. Here we can see all the employees uh, that exist in the database of the application. And let's go ahead and look at the same thing in .NET. And here is the same screen in .NET. We can go ahead and modify data of a specific employee. Okay, and we can see all the different tabs of the employee data. We can select values using the popular zoom operator. And as you can see, all of this is done in .NET and it looks exactly as it did in Magic. Just to demonstrate, let's open the same screen in Magic. We'll go ahead to a different employee, modify it, and we can see everything looking exactly the same. So, so far we've been able to demonstrate that no end user retraining is needed because if you won't tell your users, just like you, you will not know the difference initially. So we see magic and the same screen in .NET. Now let's have a look at a more elaborate process. One of the most important processes in an HR and payroll application is to do a pay run or to print the pay slip of the employee. Let's do the pay slip of this specific employee. As you can see, this is a complex process that takes a while and calculates many, many things and displays us the play slip of that employee. Now let's run the same process in .NET. You can see a slight performance improvement, also just part of the migration without any tuning. And this is how the same pay slip looks like once it was migrated to .NET. Again, magic and .NET. Now let's go ahead and print the payslip. So this is the payslip, how it was printed out, the way it was printed out of Magic, in the print preview designed by Magic. And now let's print it from .NET. And we can see the payslip in the .NET print preview. Okay, so as you can see, even printouts remain identical and all existing functionality is preserved. This is how the report or the payslip looks like in Magic, and this is how the same payslip looks like in .NET. So we've been able to demonstrate so far that the user interface is identical. You won't need to retrain your users, and that all the functionality, complex calculation, or everything that you got in the application is preserved. Now let's take it to the next level. But being in .NET, you are able to dramatically enhance your application and improve it. You can make changes to things that were so far beyond your reach. For instance, now that we have the print preview code, we can change it and add functionality to it. One of the things I always wanted in the print preview was the ability to save a report to TIFF or PDF. We can even take a report and directly send it as an email. It will generate a PDF document, and now I can just send it as an email to whoever I want. This can obviously be configured with according to specific application rights, etc. But it just goes to show you how much control you have over everything. You can change the print preview, you can change the error messages, you can change whatever you like. Next, I would like to show you 
how the right architecture allows you to make changes to the code in a single place and have them affect your entire application. So let's go back to magic and we'll go to a different screen. We'll go to the human resource menu, the equity screen and the equity view. Here we can see the equity information of the application. Now this looks like a normal magic application. You have the colors, you have the thing, all magic applications it can be de de designed and modified according to their color. But what if you want to make a change to the UI? The design of the migrated application encourages you to make changes in a single place and have them affect your entire application. One such change is a facelift. Let me show you what a simple flag change can make. And again, all of this is a code sample that you can later enhance and improve and adjust to your specific needs. Now if you look at the screen, we can see that all of the screens have a better UI. Okay, So this is the same screen after the migration, after undergoing a simple facelift. We just changed the base classes that the entire application is based on, and by making that change in a single place in the application, we can affect the entire application and make those changes easily. Okay, so this is how it looked like in Magic, and this is how it looks like once it was migrated to .NET and enhanced. Now let's look at some more improvements. One of the shortcomings of Magic was if you wanted to add a functionality all across your application, you needed to do that in every specific screen. For example, in this application, they wanted to export the data to Excel, they had the CRS had to add the export to CSV button everywhere in the application. Even if it's just one line of code, and it really is, they had to add it to every grid in the application. But what if you had control over the grid itself? Once the migration is complete, you have the source code for everything, so you can add functionality to the grid itself. For instance, we added a simple flag, say, simple option saying export to Excel. And now we gave all the data in Excel, which we can view and edit. And again, you have complete control over the source code. This is just a sample code that you can change and adjust according to application privileges and to your specific needs. Let's see what else we can add. One of the characteristics of magic application is grids like this, with many columns that are thin, with little data in them. And that's usually because that every user wanted to see different data, and that was very hard to do in magic. But this user doesn't care about exclusion WSP of province. We can just let that user choose the columns that he wants to see, or unselect the columns that he doesn't want to see. So I can remove the WSP and the province, and by doing that, I give the user only the data that he wants, and I have more room on the screen to give him descriptions of everything and better information. Now, this configuration can be saved at the user level, at the customer level, at the site level, whatever you choose, you have complete control over everything. Now let's have a look a bit about filtering. One of the shortcomings of Magic was that the grid filtering wasn't intuitive. So first of all, let's demonstrate that we support the Control R and Control R, just as they did in the original Magic application. So we can say Control R and function by C and confirm that and we see only that data. That is what our users were used to and we support that, even though Magic XPA doesn't support it anymore. But what if we could give our users a better way to filter? The intuitive way to filter was to select something over here. So let's say I want to see only category 2. I'll just park on category 2 and ask the filter to show me filter on current value. So now I only see employees with categories 2. Let's release this filter and choose category 3. And now we can see only employees with category 3. Okay, now again, this is a code sample that you have complete control of. We can give them uh, the ability to make a custom filter. Let's say um, is greater than three. Okay. Or better yet, we can just allow the user to select the values that he wants. Once again, this is just a code sample. You have complete control over it, but you can give your users the user interface and the user experience that they come to expect out of modern application. And last for this video, one of the greatest advantages of .NET is not being have to develop, not having to develop everything yourself. You can use third-party components that was generated by third-party providers and dramatically enhance your application at a very low cost. In this sample, we are using DevExpress pivot control and chart control, and just just take the data of this grid and throw it into a pivot. 
Now we uh, uh, made the change to the initial grid of the application. So currently, every grid in the application can be thrown into a pivot without any work from the developer. Now we can take the income, put it over here, put the category over here, and have a comparison chart for it. Now let's also partition it by level, and we can see the data over here. So again, we are leveraging the strength of .NET. Once you're in .NET, all the .NET uh, uh, potential is available to you, and you can enhance it yourself, or you can use third-party controls like DevExpress over here, and you can take your application to the next level.